Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be re reviewing the Nerf Rough Cut 2x4. Um, this is a handheld, or just a shotgun. Um, I should get my tripod. But, um, it is in strike Elite, and it, um, has one, two sling mounts, and I'll get to that in a second. Let me put this on the tripod. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so, Nerf Rough Cut 2x4 is my best performing Nerf gun I have. It um, it's pretty lightweight, don't mind that goo right there, I had tape on it for a flashlight, I'm gonna, I'm just to a better spot, <coughs> I might as well stand here, but, um, it holds eight darts, it's, I can't handle this, got a nice, uh, big grip on it, uh, big, good for, you know, bigger hands, um, I like how it is, how the, the cocking mechanism is positioned, like, pull it back, and then there's an indicator here, and here to let you know that the gun is locked and loaded, ready to sh fire, it shoots up to 75 feet, um, and this side has all the screws to remove this shell. Um, but overall, it's a nice blaster. It is slam fire, so you can't hold it down. Um, I've seen people mount this to. Um, hold on. I've seen people mount this to. Uh, retaliator barrel extension, retaliator barrels, uh, and then use that on a strife or another gun that has a barrel attachment. But overall, this is my favorite Nerf gun so far. The internals, um, I don't really want to mess with those, but um, overall, this is a really good gun, and um, let's do. Let's get to the firing test, so, wait, and it comes with, ah, sorry, it comes with eight darts, mine is already unboxed, so, well, here's the eight darts, so, and sometimes, the darts, instead of going in all the way, if you push them in all the way, they like to pop back out like that, so just be careful, give them a nice little push when you... Uh, are loading it. I will show you it slam fire and uh, normal fire. So I'm going to move my camera tripod back here to this side of my dress, my room. And I'm going to stand right here. And this is not far away. This is close to 10, 15 feet, so, just, so, that is, I'm going to pick these arts up real quick, um, that is not slam fire, and it shoots pretty well, um, I think it's a pretty accurate gun, and, uh, slam fire just takes away power for some guns, and it takes away accuracy, so I want to reduce the amount of power and accuracy taken away when I'm shooting, but obviously that's not easy. 
sorry, I was looking at my phone. I got a phone call from somebody. Um, but now let's do... Now let's do Slam Fire, which is... I say it's good for if you are in a tough situation, you need to um, get out of it. But to Slam Fire, you have to hold the trigger and cock it every and you can just hold the trigger and just pull it back and push it forward but the faster that you can do it um you know the faster you lose all your bullets so i'd recommend not using this for an r4 but that's my opinion um so let's show you slam fire so as you can see slam fire does not shoot as well uh, it shoots fairly accurate, no matter what. 75 feet, I think that's pretty good. Um, a hard shooting gun, that's uh, what I look for. Um, this was only $20, depending on where you get it from. But, um, I really didn't go into detail much, but there's like a checkered pattern. If you can't see it, the Nerf logo, rough cut. And Strike Elite. And the same thing for this side except the Nerf logo is just an orange. Anyways, that is it for this video and I will see you guys next time.